Say to place. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and in adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Paul Harland Herring and Angela Rochelle Kimsey now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may, may not lawfully be married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. And I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's will, you do now confess it. Angela, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. And Paul, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And will all of you 
witnessing these promises, do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? If so, please answer, we will. We will. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do. And now let us pray, O gracious and ever-living God. You have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hear now the word of God as it is written in St. Paul's epistle to the Colossians. You must put on spiritual garments that suit God's chosen and beloved people, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be tolerant with one another and forgiving if any of you has cause for complaint, you must forgive as the Lord forgave you. Finally, to bind everything together and complete the whole, there must be love. But Christ's peace, be arbiter in your decisions, the peace to which you were called as members of a single body. Always be thankful. Let the gospel of Christ dwell among you in all its richness, Teach and instruct one another with all the wisdom it gives you, with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing from the heart in gratitude to God, and let every word and action, everything you do, be in the name of the Lord Jesus, and give thanks through him to God the Father. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Paul, take you, Angela. I, Paul, take you, Angela. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Angela, take you, Paul. I, Angela, take you, Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish until we are parted by death until we are parted by death this is my solemn vow this is my solemn vow 